Welcome back to MTFC TV. Joining this time is manager Martin Crudders. Martin, a 1 0 defeat tonight doesn't really tell the full story of the game. What's your initial reaction to the defeat? Obviously, very disappointed. You know, um, with them arriving late, we said it's vital that we start the game well, first 15, 20 minutes, really get after them, catch them cold, but we didn't. You know, we, we concede a, uh, a corner after a minute, um, corner comes in, mistake by Soldini, and we're 1-0 down and we're, we're chasing the game and it gave them something to hold on and, you know, they did a job on us. You know, they, they killed the game, got around the referee, you know, injuries. They just stifled the game and we just went down there, down to their level. The, the game had no quality, very poor from a spectacle point of view. There was no quality, no quality of football from either side and we just, we just didn't get the ball down and play. We didn't take responsibility. We even changed it to a 4-4-2 to try and get the ball out wide. We couldn't even do that and it, uh, we could have been out there all night and we were never going to score today and just really disappointing after the back of some good results and then to to perform in that manner you know uh, against the playoff rival is is even more disappointing we've seen Soldini make that mistake early doors very unlike him from what we've seen so far i know he's pulled off a number of saves of the captain's game how did he react to that half time how is his headspace yeah listen mate that's that you know we a goalkeeper yeah you get highlighted in those situations and he, you know, he said he thought it was a foul on him. You know, I seen him demonstrating with a with a referee, but you know, he, he didn't get it, and we have to take that on the chin. But there was still 89 minutes for us to try and get something out of the game, and like you say, it was really disappointing because we we couldn't get no momentum. It was stop, start, stop, start. They killed the game, and they're very good at what they do. You know, they're a horrible side to play against, but against teams like that, you have to be better. You have to show your quality on the ball, and you have to stick to your game plan. And we just didn't do that today, and. You know, it's just so frustrating that, you know, it was a, a huge game and, you know, they, they've come away with the three points. I believe, apart from the goal, there wasn't a shot on target for either team. Uh, Matlock seemed a bit shot shy in front of the goal at the minute. I know you've brought in Harry Wakefield, who I thought, given a tough task, performed pretty well. Are you still feeling that you're going to have to add to that attacking force if you want this team to push off? Yeah, certainly, you know... Uh, um, we're always looking at different options and like you say, we, we thought we had a, a decent striker in the bag, you know, three weeks ago, but it, it never materialised. We're, we're, you know, we're, we're looking at three or four strikers at this moment in time, but until we get them, you know, there's not a lot we can do. Obviously, it was a big loss to Demi with tonsillitis, you know, uh, this afternoon. You know, he's been scoring goals for us, but we have to create more. We have to be better with our set pieces. It's not just about strikers, it's about the midfield players, it's about the centre off going from set pieces. Goals have to come from everywhere. And, you know, unfortunately at the minute we're just we're just not firing on all cylinders. Do you think with the side you've got in the change of rooms, there's still enough there to push on and be a real threat to those player spots? Listen, you know, if if we're honest, we were very poor today and we lost the game one nil. There was there was nothing in the game. You know, once we start you know, getting a bit more creativity and a bit more confidence on the ball and, you know, getting some combination play in the final third and getting crosses early into the box, then there's no reason why we can't, you know, score two or three goals. But it's a lack of confidence at the minute, it's a lack of belief, um, but something we'll have to put right on the training ground. Switch gears now. We are up against South Shields, league leaders on Saturday, so an easy game. Uh, yeah. Quite a trek as well. Going into that, is there any injury worries from tonight that you'll have to assess? No, I've had no injuries worries yet. I mean, you know, I'll speak to Andy. We're, we're training tomorrow night as we we all got a cool down session. We'll go into the gym and then walk through some set pieces in shape. You know, um, after the gym session. But you know, there's no tougher task than than South Shields. The only bonus about games like that is you go in there underdogs. You've got nothing to lose. So you know, we can play on the front foot and and go all out to try and win the game because you know. Um, a point's no good to us at the minute. You know, we have to start winning games now and, and try and claw way back into it. Touch very briefly, as I mentioned Harry Wakefield earlier. Coming tonight, what was your assessment of his performance and what was it that made you pull the trigger on bringing him to Mallow Town? To be honest, uh, we'd already put seven days in for him um, the week before. So uh, we know he's powerful, we know he can score goals and it's a presence up top. You know, if you want to play a 4-3-3, then 
you know, um, I think Jack Deakin's going to be moving on, so we had to make a move. But if you've got Harry, um, Demi and, and Slewy either side of him, then it gives us a bit more of a focal point to make that ball stick because it hasn't been doing that at the minute. He had a tough task today because they had some good, good lads at the back and he didn't really win any headers. But, you know, in fairness, the quality from back to front was, was poor and it's not been good enough. So it's just a bad day at the office for, for everybody again. I know it's, it's incredibly difficult at the minute finding value in what is a very tough market anyway. Do you see any more incomings or outgoings this week or are you going to stick with your deck? Um, I, I can't see any more incomings or outgoings you know, this week. I think we've just got to batten down the hatches, you know, um, get through the next two games and, and hopefully see what we can, we can bring in. Obviously losing Robert and Nicholas was a big blow, but we've had to deal with setbacks you know, all season since I came with players leaving. Injuries, suspensions, it's just been a, a whirlwind and like you say, it's just when you think you get things set and then you lose Robert McNicholas and you lose Rob Caldemir on the day of the game, it's just things you can't legislate for, but um, we've just got to keep going and, and the luck will turn. Setback, of course, is a setup for a comeback. Thank you very much, Mike Rubbers. Cheers, mate.